This is an EDU rock tumbler for kids. You basically have this home uh, base, which you, I put in the garage because it's really loud. And you put, place a barrier, which contains all your raw rocks, into it. And you grind it for weeks and weeks and weeks. And the result comes in. And your rocks will be really shiny, um, really smooth, and really nice, precious, semi-precious stones. Like tiger stones and all these shiny stuff. And you can also grind some of your own stones if you know how to look for them. They come with all these four steps of grinding powders. It comes with two sets of them. So you can grind. Uh, how you grind them is you put the rocks inside. You pour in the powder and some water. And you start grinding it for a week. So the movement or the friction between the different rocks is what's powering the cylinder-like grinder. Which I didn't really, I did a little research about rock tumblers, and um, most of them are metal tum metal tumblers, which are a lot more professional, industrialized. Um, this version is plastic, so it's going to be a lot more weared off. I had some research, I had some instances where people said the rock tumbler uh, channel also wore off, and that's reasonable because you're thinking of you're you're grinding rocks with plastic. It's not going to be as strong, but still, if you use the rocks that the EDU Science gives you, I did not have any problems with anything. And um, the lids are really tight, so nothing really leaks out, and it's pretty fun to use. One of the complaints is really loud, but that's really really loud. But that's really uh, something that happens with all rock tumblers. I put it in the garage, close the door. There's not a lot of noise at all. So overall, it functions well, especially for kids who are interested in making a lot of crafts and stuff. The transformation is really amazing. I remember in fifth grade myself, um, my favorite units in science was rocks and crystals. And it was, a, I think, a national requirement for kids to learn about crystals and geographies and, and rocks. And how we tested the, the, the hardness of rocks. And um, it was a really beautiful thing. And we could go home and we can take the rocks that we tested home. Those are all semi-precious crystals, of course. So those were, that was a really fun experiment. It would be really interesting just to like let kids uh, explore or by you can say to them, well, here's this rock tumbler. Do a little research. Tell me how this type of rock tumbler works, and then you can make your own stones. Um, there's a lot of waiting. That's true, and it uses some electricity, definitely. But the result, it's really interesting. It's unique, and you do make your own semi-precious stones that are really nice to look at. Thanks for watching. Read our full review on our website at osbtxreviews.com.